Hello everyone, ex Beth Bethelite here. And the Jehovah's Witnesses have suffered one of the biggest setbacks in religious history. Russia, a country with probably the, the largest landmass in the world, as far as religious expansion goes, you don't want to lose the largest landmass in the world of any place where you want to make sure you continue your religious expansion, it would be in some of the largest countries in the world. Well, Watchtower lost all that land. All that land where it was once okay for them to uh, expand their religion because of their extremist beliefs. Because Watchtower is more concerned with control and power over its members than just preaching what Jesus taught. They're more concerned with coming up with dates for the end of the world. Coming up with overlapping generations, making stuff up. They're more concerned with that than just preaching what's actually in the Bible. And as a result, their extreme beliefs uh, has caused them to be outlawed in Russia. And people shouldn't get upset with Russia. Jehovah's Witnesses are not Russia's responsibility. The expansion of Jehovah's Witnesses' religion is not Russia's responsibility. It's the leaders there at Watchtower. They're the ones responsible. Now think about this. Buddhists have been in Russia for a number of years. There are a lot of Buddhists in Russia. Buddhism isn't even a Christian religion, yet the Buddhists are more successful and getting along with the powers that be than Watchtower. Watchtower can't even compete with Buddhists as far as being able to expand in Russia. Expanding in any country would require that particular uh, religion to just meet the legal standard. That's all. Just meet the legal standard. Don't be extremist. Watchtower has failed miserably. Individual Jehovah's Witnesses, individual members. You cannot rely on Watchtower to hold your hand. You can't rely on a group of men who couldn't even maintain legality in one of the largest land masses in the world. You can't suffer that type of a loss. And after suffering, one of the biggest losses as far as expansion is concerned in religious history and fumbling teaching such as the generation of 1914 will not pass away uh, before the end of the world happens. Fumbling that, having to change it to overlapping. You can't have all that going on 
and expect this organization to hold your hand and be responsible for your spirituality. You individual members, you have to be responsible for yourself and for your own spirituality because time and time again, Watchtower has failed. Watchtowers fail with the religious expansion. Watchtower has failed time and time again with getting its teachings correct. You can't rely on men for your relationship with God, for your salvation. So that's something to keep in mind. That when you're getting all your information from JW.org, hoping that they're correct, betting everything on them being correct, you're putting your spiritual life in the hands of people, an organization that is losing. <laughs> having the biggest blunders in religious history. Who else is, is losing legal? They were already legal. To go from legal to illegal, to go from uh, where they were to underground is a huge step backwards. Humongous step backwards. And that is the fault of the leaders. We need to put blame where blame is due. That's the job of your leaders to make sure you're safe, to make sure you have sound teaching, and to make sure you don't get outlawed in an entire country. So, when you see people being put in prison, when you see people being misled, uh, believing the generation of 1914 won't pass away and then it not coming to fruition. Keep in mind, biblically, and this is a belief that Watchtower holds. This is a belief that Jehovah's Witnesses hold. That if one person is stumbled, Whoever is responsible might as well uh, tie a huge stone around his neck and be tossed in the ocean. A millstone at that. A millstone should be tied around uh, the person's neck who stumbles one person and that person be tossed in the river. Well, there's no hope for that person. You're not swimming with a millstone tied to your neck. That's a death sentence. According to that scripture, Watchtower has led Jehovah's Witnesses into failure in Russia. People are being in prison and it is the fault of leadership at Watchtower. Whatever else is happening to people, the people that the leadership in Watchtower are responsible for, it's them who are at fault. So being put in jail because the leaders at Watchtower has failed, that's not being a martyr. <laughs> that's not a win. You getting put in jail because somebody messed up over in headquarters that's not going to impress God. God would be angry at the people who were responsible for the lives and well-being of all the people that they put in harm's way in Russia. And Watchtower has yet to come forward with... Uh, the reasoning and, and comment down below, 
uh, give me the link if they have come forward with all the information in regards to Russia. Watchtower should uh, just be open about exactly what teachings Russia is against, exactly why Russia feels they are extremists. And it's not just Russia. You type Jehovah's Witnesses in Google or in YouTube and countless people, not just a country, countless individual people are all stating the same thing. So Watchtower is not being forward with why Russia's doing what it's doing. Why so many people are saying that They've gone a little too far with some of their practices. The shunning, for example. Watchtower has failed time and time again, and that is why you cannot trust them. You have to do your own research. And by doing your own research, I don't mean researching a watchtower. Researching JW.org. You have to do your own Research by getting all the research materials that you trust Watchtower to be doing and putting in that Watchtower. Get your own research materials and do your own research. Uh, because you can't trust the leaders at Watchtower. They've messed up and they have messed up worse than I make. You name how many religious organizations have lost a landmass the size of Russia as far as their expansion is concerned. So we have the shunning policy, which is extreme, and they failed there also. This is supposed to keep uh, the congregation, quote unquote, clean, right? Well, you just had an Australian Royal Commission because of pedophilia. That's one of the worst things uh, there could be. And it was running rampant in an organization. The leaders at headquarters, the leadership should have been keeping, quote unquote, clean. Well, they were not keeping it clean. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been such a big problem with pedophilia. There wouldn't be a problem with elders uh, abusing their wives. There wouldn't be a problem with all the issues and all the things that are going on in the organization. If ignoring people was the solution, then why isn't it working? Watchtower is failing and virtually all of their policies, the cart witnessing, well, all that accomplished is now you have countless YouTube videos of people approaching the carts and you see in the video the conversation between the person that approached the cart and the Jehovah's Witness and almost every time you see that the Jehovah's Witness is very uninformed. The Jehovah's Witness is extremely uninformed. They're just going with what Watchtower told them. They themselves didn't <laughs> do their own research. They just read a Watchtower. And they're just repeating what it said. Hoping that the same organization that just lost the largest landmass country-wise on earth. Biggest mess up that you can make. Especially when your whole focus is expansion. Watchtower's whole focus is expansion. You can't say that their focus is accurate teaching because they've almost never been accurate. They're always changing things because they always have things wrong. So that's something to keep in mind. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, 
937-789-4029. We will uh, try and discuss it uh, when we can. But Watchtower has failed uh, their members in Russia. Uh, they're being put in prison. The things that are happening to them, uh, they're happening because the leadership messed up. They're not happening because these people are martyrs. If the Buddhists can peacefully spread their religion in Russia, then Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, the people in charge, the leadership, they should have been able to do the same thing. Uh, X Walkio Bethelite, signing out.